So we just got done with an incredible, incredible day riding these ATVs to the desert out here in Las Vegas. It was just unbelievable. But now we are absolutely filthy, like covered in dirt from head to toe. We just had to hop back in this nice Corvette and drive two hours to Utah, where tonight uh, we'll probably meet up with Colby K. And this is one of those situations where Colby and I met online, uh, started commenting on each other's, engaging with each other's content on social media, we connected, been spending a lot of time via text, phone, but this is the first time we've actually met in person. So we'll meet tonight and probably create some content and uh, get ready for the podcast festival tomorrow. Burrito Bandit has been sighted. That's right. Not like salsa. And then we get so frustrated because I'm my company. I'm still the number one sales rep. Like we were and talking like, about like this. We were like, like, and there's so much going on. And you're still doing 40 hours a week. Um, I think about that. That so, mean, makes no sense. Like, that's what makes no sense. Like, I'm the number one right now in the country out of 75 It days. makes a ton of sense. It tells you how much opportunity people are wasting. But, like, the other, the other day, we have this meeting, like, the Friday morning when I'm in town, with like, call our coordinator facing meeting where we talk about it. each and every coordinator we have. We go through, like, what we need to do to get better. I was like, I literally don't know what they're doing. Not like what they're doing in a, in like a like philosophical sense. I'm like, like where, like, what are like, they doing? where are they? Like, yeah. like, like where are they in bed? Did, did someone die? No, they're like in like, front of their computers. Do you have an addiction that we don't know about? Like, no, they're like in front like, of their computers, they're on Facebook. I mean, like literally, I'm, I, they're, I got they're so happy frustrated. With their, they're happy with their base salary. This one girl like, kept egging me on. She was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, I was like, where? Like, we're, people ask me like, I think we do this full time. <laughs> like, they're well, like, you don't have a job? yeah, they think this is like what we do. And uh, I'm like, no, like, I, <laughs> how would I be able to not monetize? <laughs> how would I be able to not to monetize and talk about it all the time if this was my, how do you think I'm living? the only thing I did? Yeah. How do you think I have a job? Oh. You know what I love is people think it's really hard to get to people. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you do that? Well, I shut them a note. Yeah. What? Yeah, I shot him a note. He just ain't he have an answer. I've shot him seven other notes he's never responded yeah, to. Yeah. I've shot him a note. Then asked. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I asked. Like, what do you mean? How did I do it? So it wasn't like up. some secret sauce to you. Like, yeah. <laughs> send him a telegram with like, That's you know, I got your thing. kids hostage. I literally, if it's not an introduction, it's 99% of them are just like reaching out. Yeah. And hey, man, I appreciate that you do this. Yeah. I have a lot of respect for it and whatever you're asking. Yeah. And I never asked for anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you yep. just say, like, I appreciate the fact that they're doing this. Nothing's going on. Could be right up your alley. I'd love to get your feedback on it. Mm-hmm. You got five minutes, get on the phone. Yeah. Send a link. Fuck yeah, I love that. Yeah. Great. Is there a budget? Yeah, there is a budget. We give money back to charity. Mm-hmm. How much money do you need? You know, we negotiate, come out. And then what happens is you get put in scenarios where, like, oh, we're all just. Everybody's, what you'll notice, you know, you probably know this. Yeah. Is. Everybody that's in this, the circle's getting bigger. Yeah. Everybody's competing for the same eyeballs. I'm yeah. like, I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah. There's a table that's just a little bit taller where the meals are way better. Yeah. And the conversations are better. And they're not talking about this other bullshit. Yeah. They're New York Times bestselling authors. They're multi-billionaires and business owners. Mm-hmm. They don't play in our space. They have yeah. so much to teach. Yeah. So that's where I've chosen to have my, that's where I spend my time. It's like, I'm mean, spending my time down in here arguing about webinars and buying my course bullshit. Yeah. Over here, trying to figure out how I'm going to write a best-selling book that's going to impact millions of lives based yeah. on the process of how I write it. I was talking about like how much income I was making, like how much money I was making. And that's made her super uncomfortable, which is a good trait. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, I can't, I have to be specific. I can't just say, like, I went from doing really bad to really well. <laughs> well you, <laughs> I my, mean, you know, like, it's there's just a, hard there's to, a, like, uh, I, I don't talk about numbers a lot. Yeah. I try to keep it. I mean, I, I do say, if you could find it, I mean, I don't fucking hide it. Yeah. I mean, I think I grew up with nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, Parents had nothing. I remember I got the six figures. 
Yeah. That was a big milestone. But you didn't when you don't or you're not raised with money. Either when you get it you self destruct or yeah. you are very like you respect it. Like magnifies. Yeah. Well it's like alcohol or drugs. Like this yeah. kind of intensifies who you already are, it doesn't make you mm-hmm. any better or worse. The um get to hundred grand. Then I had some other objectives. Dude, we were doing, there was a year where we lived in California, we were doing five, six hundred grand a year. That's awesome. And then lost everything and then went backwards, negative. Yeah. yeah. And it was, we had $1.2 million in debt. Yeah. And I cut a check for 800 grand. It wasn't one check, it was 40 yeah, yeah. something checks because I paid every customer back that was on our platform before I closed the platform down. So I That's paid everybody awesome. back when we got sued because we lost our investment. Yeah. I couldn't continue developing. And then wow. I just, I, like, digging out of $40,000 when you have no income, mm-hmm. like, it's, yeah, I, it's, oh, yeah. it's a lot. It's life changing. It's fucking a lot. Yeah, it's life changing. It's a lot. I, I see the light at the end of the road. I'm almost fucking done and almost through it. Yeah. But it's like, to reestablish and get back to six figures mm-hmm. from nothing in a year, two years, yeah. it's hard. From ideas, just like taking ideas and making them work and then pay back debt. Like, yeah. So you're in back and then you're trying to get forward again. It's tough, man. And yeah. It's one of those things where, I don't know, you just have a different appreciation for it. Uh, absolutely. I was talking to um, the guy that owns the barbershop that was talking about taking Sean. He, uh, he's doing well. He, he made six figures for the first time, and he was super excited about it. And he was talking about, like, I don't, I'm trying to figure out, like, what my next goal should be. Yeah. And what I was telling him, I was like, man. Franchise? When you, well, I'm talking about monetarily, like, what his next goal, like, oh, yeah. um, how much money he wanted to make, like, milestone type thing. I was like, man, I'll tell you, when you go from 100 to 250, it's life-changing because mm-hmm. $250,000 a year, you may not own or have any, everything, but you can experience everything. Just whatever, yeah. Like you may not have a jet, but you can fly private on a random vacation. You can. You go may not charter, have a house yeah. in Lake Tahoe, but you can go rent one for ten days. Yeah. You may not have a, you know, a beach house, but you can go do like That's you, absolutely you true. can literally do anything. Mm-hmm. And so that to me is like what I want people to That's get freedom. to as like their. That's freedom, dude. Because a lot of people, six figures is such like a common, but like people after that. They don't get super specific on the numbers after they hit that. Quarter, get yeah, quarter, half. Even Gary million. talks about the fact that, like, when he made a hundred, like, he made it. And, like, that's why he doesn't spend much money. Like, cause he doesn't have all these nice things is... I don't know because, anybody that knows him well personally to, like, know what it's like. What it's Andy, like I've house. learned a lot about... I've learned a lot about him through Andy. And he just talks about how he's just... 100% of the time all business like he's never ever oh who, who he's not a character that's who he is like he's no, I just he's wondered, never you he said he's never his, ever you never see anything about his house he said he's never like been able to have a conversation like, yeah like he said he's never been able to have a conversation with him where they discussed anything other than business where he said he can talk where he said that he can call Grant Cardone and talk for half an hour and never even mention business at all yeah um, which is crazy I was like because he's a freaking alien he's like dude he really is he really is an alien um I mean, I don't even know. But, I mean, I can think of, like, you get these emails. Like, we freaking, it was so cool today. We got done riding these ATVs around. And, like, during this process of riding these ATVs, I was, like, having these, like, realizations of, like, this is work today. Mm-hmm. You know? And when you start, like, when you're just talking about, you know, what do you enjoy doing? What do you give to that? What do you like doing? And I've always kind of, like, made fun of that idea of, like, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Then all of a sudden, I'm like looking around. I'm like looking at this desert and these rocks, and we're like freaking flying on this <laughs> ATV. And I'm like, wait a second, like this was like this work, work for me paid. today. I'm getting paid um, to do this right now. Yeah, yeah I mean, and not really, but <laughs> like, am. yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> just getting it's paid. costing me a lot to do it, but it's. Uh, That's funny. But to think that like all like all these things. So this idea of going to events just to get the pictures you know Gary talks about that song like people go to concerts literally just to get the photo or the boomerang or, or the whatever in the story mm-hmm. that's like the reason why he thinks events are becoming uh, more increasingly um, like new types of events are coming out so I started thinking about the fact that we do think of things like hey well, we can fly into Vegas we're going to have 10 hours what could we find that would be cool to film? 
that was the thought process is yeah, what content. can we find something that'd be cool to film mm-hmm. that create cool content mm-hmm. and it just so happened that the thing that would be cool to film was like this incredibly fun uh, you know activity which is what it should be you're looking for fun but, shit to film but it would have been something that <laughs> had we not been looking for content I would have never just done I would have never been like hey I've got this Flown to Vegas business and, conference yeah. why don't I like fly out a day early and go rent ATVs and drive all over the desert and like <laughs> I mean like it would have never even been a thought process <laughs> This is such a, uh, such a thing. But from there, we get in the car, and right as we get in the car, I get this email from the student. It's this long freaking email. And it's like, life changed, lost 120 pounds, like, is going all in at this new career now, and like saying that he owes 100% of his like thought process change and ultimately his transformation to watching the daily bread and this stuff. and. We recorded this video talking about like that's like that's all it is. It's just like it. that that one email. That one dude's life who changed. Yeah. And we talked about this man. It's like if one Ripple. person can get impacted, that's a goal for being here, right? It's like yeah. you know what I haven't asked? How many people are going to be here? I know. Like I did ask at one point to get a like, gauge for like, the audience. Like, like is it two be... people or is it going to be twenty five thousand people? Like I don't know. Yeah. And it's for me any room I'm in, whether it's us, just us. Yeah. Like let's say there's six of us tomorrow. That's it. Yeah. Or there's six thousand. If one I'd be person, more excited if there were six. If, if one person can come away with one new thought or one yeah. emotional thing that they can go do, one relationship, which is something changes based on that, it's yeah. worth it. So, like, you're on stage when I'm, like, presenting and talking about stuff, connecting to a person, if one person takes one thing away from anything I say, then the trip out yeah. here... At, fuck, at midnight eating you know very questionable meat at a burrito shop it was just worth <laughs> the it burrito bed because then I'm away from my family it's like yeah. you know we're away from our kids it's like yeah. that, that's the time I don't like, I don't take that for granted yeah. but if one person like just one person because you don't know what that one person is going to do mm-hmm. but that one person creates something that helps hundreds of thousands of people or that one person I'll tell you the, the powerful ones are like the, the change your life ones where you read yeah. it and you're like kind of you believe it it wasn't just like some kind of marketing thing I had a yeah. dude who was like working at the Staples Center and he was like um, I created this supplement line and I gave him a bunch of stuff that I was working on and he goes that specifically called me out of the blue or text me out of the blue it's like that what you did for me like I, that night I called you mm-hmm. so I barely knew at the time called me and I took his call at like 10 o'clock on a Tuesday yeah. or Sunday and I texted me through Facebook or messaged me through Facebook and said can I call you and I said yeah and he goes, I was literally on the roof at the Staples Center. I was, like, I was contemplating suicide that night. And he goes, the Jeez. fact that you, like, you didn't even know me and you took what? an hour out of your time on a Sunday to talk through your story. When I asked you, I was struggling with something oh, and you God. told me some things you'd done and got through. It's um, get that woo-woo life coach you shed. It's just being able to share the experiences because there's – I'm a firm believer, dude, that like, both of you guys have gone through some heavy shit. I don't yeah. know what it is. And you're here. You woke up today. Like, you've made it through. Well, you know what? There's somebody right behind you that you don't know yet that's about to step into the shit that you that's just exactly came right. out of, and they have no idea that they're not that they're not on an island by themselves. Yeah. Because think about when you went through your shit. Did you, was, did you tell you were alone. Mm-hmm. Nobody gets this. Nobody gets this, this disease. Nobody gets this divorce. Nobody yeah. gets this bankruptcy. Nobody gets this whatever the fuck. Because we think we're all by ourselves. I really 100% believe that the mediums that we have being able to connect with things we've done and show real life, not what we think life should be, but how life really is, yeah. gives people that hope to push through shit that they're going through because they are now seeing somebody that's gone through it. Yeah. And there's like, I just, the more people we can have doing what we're trying to do, it's better, dude. What's up, guys? If you have not yet done so, please like my Facebook page. Then next to the like button, click following, which will bring a drop down. And when it says in the news feed, click see first. This will ensure that you will always see the content that we're pushing out. The last thing that we want to have happen is for us to put out content that you actually want to see, but you don't. So make sure that you hit see first and we'll see you next time.